Contemporary art reflects a wonderful diversity of media and forms. But let's face it, contemporary art can be intimidating. So today, I have invited artist and critic Mark Harris to give me a micro lesson on how to approach and appreciate contemporary art. Well, you're right, Nina, it can be very difficult to um, appreciate contemporary art. Uh, but if you think of three criteria that artists always grapple with, uh, image, idea, and material, it can become easier to enjoy and appreciate what we see. So why don't we go and take a, a look at a few examples of contemporary art. Great. So here's a piece by Terence Hammonds that uh, shows imagery from his childhood that his parents uh, would show to him, his mother particularly, and this is a large piece that looks like wallpaper and he's interested to conceal the imagery in the materiality, in the material of the wallpaper. But these are also individual prints. Each of them is a picture in its own right with three or four scenes from protest movements in the 60s. We have images of Angela Davis, of draft protesters burning their draft cards, of Timothy Leary. And uh, the idea that Terence has here is to lure us into appreciating or enjoying the work until all of a sudden we realize we're looking at very powerful images that were part of his childhood and adolescence and part of American history. And we shouldn't forget too that part of the material properties of the piece is the bright color that he uses. Uh, this is um, again to uh, attract us uh, to appreciating the um, formal qualities of the work, the material properties of the work, before we realize what the idea is that he's conveying. Um, if he were just to be ramming this imagery down our throats, uh, we might be put off by the direct address that he'd be making. But here we have a very seductive piece, a very alluring piece that um, offers us this challenge of uh, a powerful idea, but a seductive appearance. He's not using wallpaper, but the idea is that it reminds him of what uh, the decor was at home when he was growing up kind of surroundings he lived in uh, here in Cincinnati and, and uh, he um, is using a uh, silkscreen to print these images and a uh, silkscreen gives you a very flat, um, uh, strong coloured design if that's what you're looking for and uh, here the images are made in, in three layers, there are three colours that are printed here. So the, the background yellow, there's an, an orange uh, colour that's used to print the images of the protesters and then over all of that is this uh, uh, image of flowers, of floral patterning that um, is what really evokes the wallpaper. Terence uh, intends this uh, to um, evoke, to refer to the incendiary uh, period in which these uh, images originate. And of course, if you look closely in, in the imagery of fiery flowers, of uh, uh, clenched fists that are interspersed across mm -hmm. every image. Yeah, I do see that. Well, Nina, here's another example of uh, a work that uses uh, image material and idea to great success. Brian Joyner is a local Cincinnati artist who here is addressing uh, the Middle Passage, the history of the Middle Passage and the tragic events that uh, are associated with that. This is a painting that combines found imagery. Uh, here's um, uh, an old print of slaves being thrown from a ship, um, a handbill for the sale of slaves. Um, there are fake pearls here that refer to the wealth that accumulated through slavery. And in the main part of the painting, Brian has used a wood relief, uh, painted over wood relief, images of slaves uh, falling through the water and fish to uh, convey the, the death, and, uh, the tragic end of, of, these, um, of these individuals. I really am enjoying seeing the diversity of materials that he uses. I mean, there's a, a wood panel here and some iridescent ribbon, and it really invites me to want to step closer and, and examine it at a closer level. This is certainly a painting that reads uh, very effectively close up, uh, but you also need to be able to see it from a distance because the imagery of the figures falling through the waves and the fish are are hard to read close up. But also in spite of this um, appalling subject matter, the 
The work is, I think, a real celebration of the use of materials, a celebration of life through the way that it's been made. And, uh, and Brian is somebody who has always enjoyed using a lot of color, a lot of, a lot of relief and form in the work. Uh, but deep within the work has always been this passion for the history of uh, the African-Americans uh, in, in this country. Well, people shouldn't expect to fall in love with all the contemporary art that they see. Uh, but they should also trust their first reactions. The initial likes and dislikes are a good clue to work with. But I believe if they consider these three components that all artists are working with, uh, material, image, and idea, these works will start to open up in interesting and new ways, and their experience may even become addictive. <laughs>